to get more over and to make more money. Yeah, I'm, I 1,000% I agree. I think it was insane. Uh, you will see D Demo God on a T-shirt uh, in no time soon. Promise you that. Um, I thought it was great. You know, Jericho will take the littlest of things and make something huge out of them. And uh, nobody does it better. Even during that promo, he when he when he was chastising uh, Orange Cassidy, he's like, with your stupid sunglasses and jacket. And Jericho's there wearing sunglasses and a jacket. I was like, oh, my God. That, I hope as many people caught on to that as I did. It was yeah. just uh, – there I, are... thought it was, I thought it was great. I'm glad that they continued uh, the story the, and the storyline with Orange Cassidy. I'm glad it's not a one and done. Cassidy coming out. Of course, Cassidy's promo was perfect, as always. You know, he, <laughs> he nailed that verbiage. Outstanding. The raising of the thumb. So great. Uh, down comes – down comes the juice. Uh, shout out to Hoobitude. And but I mean, I'm glad that uh, I know that uh, I'm just glad he hit his mark because you know yeah. the thing about when you drop fluid from the ceiling. If you remember WCW when they would can you say orange juice? It sounds really weird when you say you're dropping fluid from the ceiling. Okay, okay, okay. Good call. Good call. Yeah, we don't want to drop that fluid. Blood baths of old, which always seem to be spot on, but the with yeah. the grill and the brood. Yeah, but in WCW they would miss. They would miss like like uh, a majority of the time when they dropped the blood. And I think it was Vampiro doing it or somebody was doing it. And, uh, they would drop the blood and they would just miss. And you would see guys like really, or when they dropped like nine hundred tons of it on Sting and about killed him. <laughs> there, there was always there was also that. But uh, last night's hit really well. I think Ortiz uh, walked the line of being a little distracting and it too was. goofy. It was a lot distracting. And I, I think when Jericho said, get up, you idiot, I think yep. there was a little bit. That's a little bit of ribbing on the square there. Yeah. You know, um, so. Uh, well, here's what, know, here's what with, I was with all, He's sweating all, around and playing it and all that stuff. Four inches away, it's dry canvas. So it's not like the whole ring was saturated, like when McMahon was swimming when the beer bath happened, which was awesome. This was, uh, it, it was beyond the point of ridiculous. If, if we want to nitpick that segment a little but bit. Maybe. Here's what's funny about it. And Cal pointed this out to me last night. He goes, dad, that's the guy that doesn't know how to swim. Oh, He's yeah. trying to swim in the orange yeah. juice. No, I understand, but keep, but I understand that. Yeah. And, but also. It was too much. There, there's a tone yeah. that we were trying to set here. We, that, that needed to be all about Jericho is embarrassed. You know, you had the inner circle in there and that's fine. You can't not shoot him. But that moment was about Jericho being embarrassed, and now he's infuriated to a point where even though he just said there wasn't going to be a rematch, now there is going to be. So that's about that needs to be about the embarrassment of Jericho and then the frustration and what he's going to do. And the flopping around like a fish, it was funny, but it was funny at a moment that I didn't need comedy right there. Yeah. And you know, of course, that's as always, that's my my opinion, the way I looked at it. To me, I was distracted by him when I needed to be focused on Jericho's face. And luckily, when they went back to the replays, who did they replay over and over? Without a doubt, they kept it on Jericho. Yeah. And I guarantee you, there's somebody in the truck going, do not shoot that flopper. Yep. Yeah, because it was the track. <laughs> you know, I thought Orange Cassidy, I mean, there's something to be said, Shane and Dave, right, about when you could cut a promo without saying a word. You talked about it, Shane. Orange Cassidy, you know, it's his shtick, if you will. But the towel. You know, Ron Simmons got over with just one word promo, and I didn't think we could outdo that. Somehow, Orange <laughs> Cassidy is getting over with no word promos. <laughs> uh, and how about the towel, Dave? Uh, Jericho asking for a towel. It was, Jericho is just so brilliant in everything he does, and he has never shown a kink in that armor. He always delivers. Uh, he is well past his prime. I'm not saying that as a bad thing because he's still in his performance prime, but from a physical sense, he doesn't, I don't even need to see Jericho wrestle. I, I, I This kind of stuff every week is fine by me. Put him in a match on occasion when it makes sense. And that's totally fine. And that is a great thing. Without a doubt. It's interesting. You said kink in the armor. I'm going to let that slide, but he was, <laughs> he was great on uh, Yeah. He was great on commentary. And the thing is too, Taz was great earlier. Taz like, was really good. Yeah. Yeah. You forget like a uh, man. So it's kind of a, uh, it's weird when you have to hate the guy 